How's it going, guys? Uh, welcome to this uh, quick video. I have here the uh, Samsung Galaxy S Edge and the S6. What I want to show you guys uh, today is how to install video editor on these uh, two phones. Uh, that's an application that works with Samsung phones and uh, they that application doesn't come with the phones you have to download it so i'm going to show you how to do it and install it uh, that's a really really cool application that i use all the time you can go ahead and record uh, your videos edit the videos put videos together do transition effects do add some uh, text to the videos and also music so very useful application doesn't come with the phones you have to download it so i'm going to show you how to do it on these uh, two phones let's go ahead and do that right now Okay, I recap here on the uh, video editor application. This is how the icon looks like, as you guys can see right there, video editor. So if you tap right there, this is a really cool application. Most have applications, especially if you have like a Note 4, S5, or even one of the new uh, S6. You know, these phones uh, record an amazing quality when it comes to videos. And uh, I find this application to be very useful in order to take advantage of your phone to create videos, uh, put videos together, do transition effects, uh, add uh, titles, uh, add music in the background and all that. So as you guys can see, this is how the application looks like. Um, I'm not going to get into all these, but these are different projects or suggested projects that I have uh, based on the videos that I recorded with the phone. But anyway, so we tap right there. And as you guys can see, you can switch between all these uh, different themes. You can actually download more themes. Uh, so if you tap right here, this is gonna take you to your gallery. And you can select here, as you guys can see, video. You can switch between video and pictures. So uh, let's go ahead and select a couple of uh, videos here. And uh, let's go back to the picture and you can select a couple of pictures. Uh, go back right here to the videos and select another video. Now you can click right here, save, and this is how the project looks like now. And you can go ahead and add transitions effects. For example, you click right there in between clips. This is gonna show you right here the uh, different transition effects available. And uh, you can do one, you can do another one for the next one. And uh, you can do as many as you want uh, different than the other one. And then from this point, you can go ahead and click right here. You can go ahead and click on, uh, you can add more pictures, add more videos. If you tap right there on the, the music, option you can go ahead and do a uh, background music and then you can go ahead and select something here click save now as you guys can see the music was added in the background if you tap right there where the music is you can go ahead and change and select right here the uh, volume for the background so if you are talking uh, you don't want the music to uh, overpower the uh, volume of your voice so you can go ahead and select right here the volume that you want uh, for the background you can go ahead and uh, play a sample of your uh, project and then from this point uh, if you want to do a, you know additional uh, editing you can tap right here and as you guys can see you're gonna be able right here to add text uh, split uh, cut or you know do multiple things you can go ahead and select right here also effects so you can apply effects for that particular clip so as you guys can see now the uh, uh, first clip has a sepia color and then from this point if you tap right here you can go ahead and save auto edit export or share project so we can export it uh, you can rename the name of the uh, project right there you can also change the uh, resolution you can even do 1080 720 and then uh, you can go ahead and export it and as you guys can see now it's uh, saving the project so let's go ahead and cancel this and show you now quick how to download this uh, video editor on the uh, S6. All right, guys, I have here both uh, the uh, S6 and the S6 Edge. And as you guys can see uh, right here on the uh, S6, uh, there is a video editor. I already downloaded that application. So in order to download this application, that doesn't come with the phone. So what you're gonna do guys, uh, it's uh, go into your gallery. Let's use the S6 Edge to show you. Uh, you're gonna go into the gallery, go ahead and record one quick video. Doesn't matter, it can be two seconds. This is like a four second video. So when you access the video, uh, you're gonna see right here these uh, options, uh, favorite, share, editor, and delete. Uh, if you click right here on their more, there's no option other than uh, details and slideshow. 
So you need to click on uh, editor and uh, it's gonna show you these uh, options right here, trim, effect, and audio, or export. And it says right here, video editor. If you tap right there, it's gonna tell you that you need to download video editor. So you just go ahead and download this. And let's go ahead and do it here quick. So as you guys can see, it's downloading right now. Uh, as you guys can see, the size is 100 uh, megabytes. And this is a free application. You don't have to pay for anything. Uh, keep in mind that this only works with Samsung and not with every Samsung, just with certain phones. Uh, for example, I was trying to install this one at S4. It doesn't work. Um, I even tried to download the APK and install it manually. It still, uh, it, it, it installed the application and I tried to open it, but it, you know, I get an error, so it doesn't work with the S4. I can tell you for a fact, it works with the Note 4, with the S5, and it uh, looks like it works with both uh, the uh, S6 and S6 Edge. I haven't tried the Note uh, 3, so you're welcome to try it. So let's wait here quick until this uh, downloads. All right, guys, so I already installed uh, the application, so we can go ahead and open it now. Let's go ahead and open it and show you the interface. So this is the interface. It's gonna look a little bit different than the uh, interface on the Note 4, uh, probably because, you know, this uh, phone has a different version of Android. But anyways, uh, it's the same process. We tap right there to create a project. Uh, you can choose between templates. So we're gonna do blank. And then from this point, it's gonna, it's gonna show you right here all the different uh, pictures and videos that you have uh, uh, on your phone. So I'm gonna click on this one. And if I switch here to image, I can go ahead and add some pictures. And uh, let's go ahead and add a picture right there. And we can click on done. Uh, this is how the project looks like. I can go ahead and click right there in the middle to add transition effects. And uh, as I showed you before, I can click right here and add audio. And uh, this is how the project looks like right now. You can do a different effects right here if you want. Look at the transition effect. So from this point, guys, uh, you can go ahead and now uh, save the project or export the project. And you can go ahead and export it right there. And then you can uh, change the title. You can change the uh, resolution. You can do 1080p. And that's how the project is being exported. All right, guys, so there you have it. That was a quick tutorial here on how to install a video editor application on the uh, Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge and the S6. Thank you, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Please share the video to help others subscribe for more videos.